Hello and welcome back. It's been a while since I made a good Simple Planes video, but now is about the time. So I was thinking it'd be really fun to try to make a, <clears throat> a pit, an actual piston engine in Simple Planes. So we, there are pistons in the game. Okay, <clears throat> so you can see here, we have a piston with this joint, so it'll be able to bend back and forth. And then we have this rotor, which is set to be able to free spin. So you might be able to see where I'm going with this. But basically, I set this to cycle. So, and you can control the speed of the cycle with VTOL. So, yeah, this is going to be our piston. And I'm going to put basically a crankshaft on here and connect this to it so we'll be able to hopefully turn turn a crank with our piston and maybe make a sort of weird piston engine thing. <laughs> Sounds exciting. Okay, I don't know about this. Uh oh, okay, well that's, our crank works, but it broke. So it clearly needs something to kind of kickstart it. So I'm thinking, well, I'm gonna put a flywheel on here so it'll have more momentum. And that also could help. But one thing we need to do to this piston is make it so it can't break. Uh, where is it here? Piston. Prevent breaking. And these are outputs. So these should spin. <clears throat> these should spin with the crankshaft because technically it's connected to this block or this uh, uh, fuselage. So now I can try to put a flywheel on here of some sort. No idea how that's going to go. All right, so we have what resembles an extremely rudimentary engine. Uh oh. <laughs> the whole thing's flexing. Look at that. <laughs> it's not working though. It's just pushing directly up and down. So it needs something to kind of get it rotating so then it can keep working, I guess. So I know this might be cheating, but I'm going to put a little jet just to get it started for starting purposes. A real engine, a real piston engine, has an electric starter or a pole starter. It doesn't just start on its own. So that's that's realistic, right? I don't know which way. I guess we can choose which way it rotates. Doesn't really matter. All right. Uh oh. Right, that thing does not want to turn. It just flipped the whole thing over. I wonder why this is something's got to be connected wrong. Because this crankshaft is not freely spinning. Otherwise, it would have. That that connection's good. That's good. <clears throat> you got to make sure every single part isn't hooked up to something it shouldn't be. Otherwise, the whole thing will break. 
and it will not work correctly. So far I don't see any issues. Yeah, why is not it why is why isn't it? Oh, oh, oh. It's because this this connection between this point and this point, it should have another one of these there, but I didn't for some reason put one. So now what we have is essentially like a, a bearing here. This would be the equivalent of your a rod bearing. <coughs> and up here, this would be your wrist pin, basically, I guess. So this should work now. It should free spin. Oh, good, it does. Okay. So it does, but this piston holds it back. So, oh, wait, something's working. I wouldn't call it working very well, but... Does it extend too far? I think it extends too far. Let me go really slow and see here. Oh, it's the parts are not very happy with this. <laughs> yeah, it extends definitely a little too far. So that's okay. What we can do is just lower the maximum distance, the range of this thing a little bit, and it should work better, maybe. I think this is actually like hitting on the ground or something. Because circles are weird that way. Fuselages, they stick out further than their uh, shape shows sometimes. So I'll put a little feet on this and that may help. There we go. That's That's looking better. That's looking really good. And I'm not using the jet. I'm not touching it. This is just, it's running. It's, <laughs> it's running. Yes. Okay, can we go faster? Uh-oh. No, I, it's going back. Uh, it's not working. Oh, it's working. It's going. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh, my. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, <laughs> it's working so well. Look at that. I made a piston engine in simple planes. I mean, I'm sure other people have done that, but it's so, so cool. Look at that thing. <laughs> it's so funny. All right, there's lots of awesome stuff we can do with this idea. <clears throat> so can we get more speed out of it? All right, how fast can this guy go? Uh oh. Okay, it starts causing major issues if you go too fast. So this is a very good kind of optimal speed. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Still some vibrations, but that's also realistic. Oh, and then we go a little higher and it can't handle it. it it's a ton of like torque force on the whole body. All right, now it shouldn't be going anywhere. All right, so here's that optimal speed. Okay, then we go faster and it starts breaking <laughs> until it's fully, <laughs> until it does not work anymore at all. So I think these have a speed limit because I think the rotors for some reason don't allow you to spin past a certain speed. Because you can see if I go faster, there's nothing that should stop this thing from being able to 
go faster, but then as you increase it suddenly gets this torque and these things just refuse to spin any faster. But if you slow it down, it goes just fine. And you'll find if you put jets just on a rotor that can free spin, it'll spin at a it'll spin up to a certain speed and then it won't go any faster. And it's around this speed. So if any simple planes devs are watching this, consider like increasing the speed of a rotor that the maximum speed they can spin. Cause then you could do some crazy stuff like make an engine that could actually spin really fast. <laughs> Because right now, this is kind of the max speed you can get out of these things. Wait, is this even spinning? Yeah, this is spinning, but the wheel is not. Even if you hit the brake, which you would think if you hit the brake, it would lock the wheel up and it would start spinning, but it doesn't for some reason. Lastly, I'd like to add a little propeller to this thing. That'd be cool. Alright, so I'm going to put a speed limiter, so the maximum speed of this is not going to break it, basically. So it'll go as fast as it can. It's kind of like a governor, I guess. Alright, there we go. So as you can see, we have a working piston engine in Simple Planes. This thing's awesome. There's a whole lot I'm sure I could do with this concept, this design. If you have any ideas, definitely leave them in the comments section. And if you'd like to see me working on real piston engines, go check out my main channel, Different Things 2006. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.